Hello, beloved ones here in Sonic Songkos. The last couple of days were surely exciting. Schumann frequencies are spiking up, challenges are coming our way. How do we deal with it? The solstice just blasted through and the lion's gate is not too far. A new moon is coming, you name it. What are we doing with this energy? Are we stuck in a rut? Are we still worrying about all the things that we can't change? And by that, I don't mean that we don't do anything. Or are we staying in our presence and be that pillar of light or that light tower that we have come to be? The Council of Heartlight's getting really strong on me and they talk to me almost a couple of times a day. And so I, I get that little notch from the back to say, come on, share, this is important. One thing is really, really clear and becomes clearer by the moment. We are all here on this planet, regardless if it's flat or not, to learn. And we're all here to be in this transition. Some people say this is the first time ever that a planet is actually ascending. Earth is going to ascend into a higher frequency. She has had her ice ages and whatever other catastrophes that she did, but this time she's ascending. And we call it into a dimension of the five, fifth dimension, which is a dimension that is just lighter. And maybe one of the important things that Merlin says, please, please tell them. As long as we are stuck in 3D, our frequency is low because we are stuck in wanting to be right holding on to what we think we can control. We are in fight, fight and flight mode. Also in that kind of drama, the ego gets us each time and it's just very difficult to really step above. It doesn't mean that 3D doesn't have pleasures. It doesn't mean you can't have a lot of fun. It doesn't mean that with or without alcohol or drugs. It just means you can't maintain it. It is not really something that is embodied or internalized, right? So as we are stepping off that karma wheel, drama triangle, and that end of homo sapiens, I wanna call it, men and women of the mind, we are actually stepping out and breaking the locks. So I see it a little bit like a roller coaster. This is how my guys are showing me. We're on a roller coaster and we can't get out because anytime something comes, we want to control, we're getting afraid. The only way out is the heart. So here's a whole, whole army if you wish, of beautiful light beings coming in from the Council of Heart Lights to tell you the main lesson you have come to learn in this life here is to step into the heart. And from there, you kind of spiral out or vortex out or whatever you want to call it into a flow, a sacred flow. That is your natural state, that is your presence. And yes, this is possible. Sometimes you may go into the, or you may have a little dip into the roller coaster and the karma wheel and all of that, but you are no longer living there because your anchor is in the sacred flow, in your I am presence, in pure consciousness. Does that mean your life is going to get boring and stable and flat? No. This is the life of a homo luminous, as the indigenous in the, in the Andes called it or termed it or whoever did. 
And the Homo Luminous still has its feelings, but it doesn't hold on to emotions. It doesn't fester it. The Homo Luminous, the 5D man and woman, is still thinking, but it doesn't hold on to it. So when we get into that sacred flow, we become free in many ways. It doesn't mean that we see, don't see what's going on in the theater of the world, but we're actually living in new earth. Although it doesn't seem as it has fully manifest or fenifest at this time. According to, again, many experts, whether it's on the indigenous or science or whoever side, they're all feeling by 30, 30, 20, 32, we should be kind of on the other side. So this now is very important. This is the most important life that you have chosen because this is your graduation out of the roller coaster, the karma wheel, the drama into your I am presence. It's a choice. Maybe your soul most likely has chosen this before. That's why you're here. Otherwise you wouldn't listen to me. Otherwise you wouldn't listen to all the other people that you're involved in. So the Council of Heart Lights is actually a intergalactic school, if you wish. We all come from the same place, and this is where I totally agree with Dolores Cannon and many others. It's not about a person, it's not about what somebody says. It's what I feel here. We all come from source, the heart of God, whatever you want to call it. And in that, there is no form, there's no shape, there's no drama, there's nothing like that. As we choose a physical body and a life, we are taking on a life and a body and a family and a profession and whatever else it may be. But most important, we are taking on the task to learn and to evolve. And this time around, incredible the most amazing time because this is really ascension time so i'm inviting you into the space the energy that's coming in through the schumann frequencies through all the other beautiful energies that have been created from people but of course also from a lot of ascended masters because in our current form we can't do everything yet but we have an opportunity to get rid of all the density. It's being transmuted. We have amazing sacred geometry that is helping us. We have all the support. So the Council of Heart Lights is really here today to help us with consciously stepping off that karma wheel, consciously stepping off the drama, consciously letting go of that ego mind and control and fear, shame and blame and guilt. These are locks and these are experiences that we have come to experience, to learn from, to take the lesson and move on. Now, I have full compassion for all of the experiences that you have, no matter how easy or how hard they were. I also have a human experience and we all have our fear bits, but this time is different because this time we have an opportunity to graduate. So the Council of Heart Lights with all the beings that you can imagine because they are there, they're helping us this time to really learn to really graduate into that sacred flow, into that five dimensional way of being together with new earth. So here we are. This is the words that come through today. I feel a very strong presence of uh, Merlin. He is very strong at the moment. I also feel Seraphis Bay. Uh, 
and of course Saint Germain is here inviting us now all to take that opportunity to come into the heart and to come into that sacred flow of life not ignoring or denying what is going on in the 3d in the drama on the karma views but stepping out of it and graduating you are here to graduate this time this may not be an instant act some struggle with that when we journey with some people they go like ah oh, finally and others go like oh, i don't get it i don't get it i'm struggling i want to hold on it's like that be patient with yourself in any case the sound will trigger the information will trigger the code that you have inside of you to come into your natural state to come into that pure consciousness whatever it does it's at least on the way if it takes you totally out also very happy if you want to know more about this we're teaching that also of course in consciousness architecture with sound and all the other good stuff put your comments below and we'll see what we can do together so for now take a moment please do not drive don't do anything that requires your attention and just close your eyes and just come into the presence of your own heart your own self no form no shape just be here you may see the locks or the roller coaster the vikarma wheel or whatever comes to you it's not about visualization just notice there's another space a sacred flow that takes you into that higher consciousness into your peace into your connectedness and just allow the sound to take you there whatever is possible accessible or doable for you today. So just bring yourself back. Let the sound take you where you are, able, willing, and even destined to go today. It's your choice. It's your pace. 
So bringing you with all this theme of the Council of Heart Lights, many blessings. An open heart to learn, but also graduate. We can move on. We all can. Much love into your world and enjoy the light in your heart.